Hello folks and welcome. So Linux Mint 22.1 Cinnamon. Today I'm going to talk also a little bit more about Terminal. But uh, talking about launching applications and maybe a couple of commands. Uh, so filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription logo is in the corner, well over 500 videos and all kinds of things. All right, Terminal time. Making this larger, control shift plus 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 plus. All right. When we're dealing with um, terminal, we can use um, commands. We can use uh, also launch applications. We can also install software. Um, so I'm going to be talking about a couple of these things. Um, one of the strangest commands that you can probably agree if you haven't seen this yet is B A O. B A B looks like a bunch of well gobbledygook, but it launches something that I made a video the other day on, which is Disk Usage Analyzer. And maybe not everybody loves this tool, but nonetheless it gets installed by default. But I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that. So that is the command for launching that out of terminal. Generally, people go in here and uh, launch it from here. Another one is kind of strange if you try to install this one is called SOL if it's not installed and you can see mine is not. And this is the name of it. So um, we can cheat and copy and paste. I'm not going to use sudo because it'll ask me for that anyways. So now I'll put the sudo password. And I'll answer yes to the question. Do I want it installed? Yes, of course I do. Now this obviously will be ran directly from here in your new games category. And that's the name of the game. Punching up clear. If I type in the word SOL though, it launches it. And where did it get its uh, little three digit abbreviation thing? Well, it's because it's solitaire, that's why. Not everything behaves this way though. I was just trying to highlight the word solitaire, but anyways, you get the idea. All right, so let's talk about some practical use for getting information. So one of the things that uh, I have, uh, you can probably tell that it's uh, using a wired network. However, I have wireless also. So if you type in the word host name, we get the same definition normally because I have it right here, LM221. Not a mystery. However, if you use your arrow key, and put a space and put a dash and a big I, it will give you IP addresses. I have two of them, IP version four. There are two of them right here, ending in 152 and 116. Take a look at this though. I have wireless and wired. Do I generally run both of them? No, but I wanted to let you see that I turned off one of the interfaces and now it's only a single IP address for IP version four. Now you can do IP6 too, but anyways, I had two numbers prior. I'll turn it back on. And then I'll click this again. Now you can see two IP addresses. One here, one here. What about information on systems? Well, my favorite is one of these. And inevitably I get a message. Hey, did you know that you can use letters, single letters. I do. The reason I like to use this is because I can get blocks of information. So what is INXI anyways? INXI, if you just focus on, on this, it's system information with a whole bunch of options. All right, so when people send me messages like that, uh, first of all, not that I want to remind them that I've been doing this for many years. I've been doing this ever since Linux came out and before that Unix. But, you know, things change also. But I do know those commands. So I will start with the alphabet for you. Starting with A and I'll go as far as G and then I'll stop. The small A produces a little summary of CPU kernel storage and also what shell I'm using, which is bash, and the version of INXI, and you can also see memory there. That would be small a. 
Since Linux is literal, we have to use small a's and big a's. This will be audio. Take a look at device number two. I'm speaking to you on a Logitech microphone, if you're curious. I do have others. So that's the A category. How about if we go with B? For you folks that run laptops, you may want to run this one. It's battery information. I don't have a battery on this tower computer. But if you had a laptop, you may see some info in there. I'm going to continue with C. C is in Charlie, or up here KC is Central Processing Unit, otherwise known as CPU. It's all about the CPU in this one. It's getting a little busy, punching up clear. I left it C. Let's talk about D as in dog. Discs, three of them to be exact. Total storage, disc one, two, and three are even identified by vendor name, model number, and sizes. And then I'll drop down to the last one, which is graphics card or G. So yes, you can put them all together. And that is one of the reasons that I use this command here. It strips out personal information and it gives me blocks of memory. What kind of uh, system this is, is system D. Version of bash, version of INXI. Drives, partition, Bluetooth network, audio, graphics, CPU, central processing unit, motherboard, and system. That's why I use that command. Punching up clear. So we can do lots of advanced stuff too. We know about SSH. All right, so I will SSH into one of the machines that I have that is running OpenSSH server. I use it as a file server, but I do remote commands on that at, and uh, this is a local machine, so it's not on the internet. Okay, sitting behind my firewall, but I just use it for practice. You can also set up your own SSH server on your home network for practice, but I use it actually for files. All right, putting in that password. And I can run every single command that uh, you can do on your normal machine, which is maybe top. Look at processes, control C, clear, clear. Let's try that again. Um, I can even uh, look at my uh, cron tab. So C R O N tab dash E. We do know what that is. Some of you folks do. And you can see that it's using a script file at the very top, making um, backups in 24 hour increments. Control X. And uh, I can also go look at that drive. Now, generally I'm just using share one and two for file distribution. If I set up a new computer, I tie into it and download it actually using Samba. However, I can reboot this machine because it's headless. What does that mean? It doesn't have a monitor, keyboard, or a mouse. I've already set this machine up and uh, I can even uh, take out my iPhone because I have a terminal box on my iPhone, sit on my couch and tie into this machine to make sure that it's doing backups or whatever. So I will do an LS on that and uh, the last backup is actually today. So now, yes, I do know it's making backups. And then I have a utility that cleans these things out when they get too old. And these are tar.gz backups. I can also issue a reboot command. All right, so because it doesn't require me to log in because the actual services are running, the SSH server and Samba services. So I use it for distributing files but at the same time you can set one of these things up on your local network to have a little fun. You can install also SSH server on Linux Mint. A lot of the naysayers out there say you cannot do advanced stuff with Mint. I beg to differ. But in either case we can also in addition to using terminal you can use your file manager Nemo. I have the same machine right here. SMB. So I currently only have this one online and you can see the two share points. However, this one I can log in with SFTP. 
And I usually just use SSH in the terminal, I'm um, sorry, in the address bar to get into that. So yes, you can do some advanced stuff through your file manager. So in either case, um, I presented a couple of commands uh, today and um, a couple of ways to launch programs. We can certainly install stuff. Um, I don't have VLC, so let's get that out of the way. Very simple stuff to do. Now, I, you notice that I didn't put sudo in front of apt, but it asked for it anyways, because it's installing software. And when it gets done, it will be part of my Mint menu. There's VLC, and it does work. And um, I installed this earlier. Remember, I just used the word sol to actually activate it through terminal. Not that you need to do that. I'm just showing you you can. And the other silly one, which is what? Uh, close it too fast, right? B A O B A B. Sounds like a bunch of anyways. And that is again the, the disk usage analyzer, which you can get from your regular mint menu rather easily. So I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that because I don't have a laptop. And don't forget, if you do have a laptop, you may want to perform that command. And look at your battery information. Thank you for watching.